Hello. Mm. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, Tiana. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. So I'm looking kind of plain faced. And not um really tired. I've had a really fun day. Fun day, fun day, fun day. How are you this evening? I'm about to get uh, Facebook Live on with us. Yes, we made it safe. Hi, Renee. Thanks for joining. I am. Hey. I'm getting. Um, thanks for inviting your followers. Trying to get Facebook Live on so we can do this. Yes, I am tired. Can you tell? Thanks for sharing on Twitter. Uh, okay, so we on Maximize Your Life Day 10. We made it, y'all. Um, maximizing. Child, I done done that wrong. Maximizing. Hi, someone else joined. I didn't see who. I'm sorry. Thanks for the hearts. I am just trying to get Facebook Live on, and we're going to get started here. Hold on. Hi, Shalanda. Okay, okay. Hold on. I'm doing my periscope. I'll be right down. Or y'all can come up here. Okay. Well, here I come. I'll come back downstairs. Okay. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Duty's never done. Duty's never done. Okay. Maximizing your life. Day 10. We made it. You guys know that I am at Epic Conference 2016, and I am super excited. You can't tell because I'm like super tired. I'm going on um, no hours of sleep, and they want me to come back downstairs. So, we're going to make this quick. Oh my goodness, I did that wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so. So, no sleep to so I know, because you know that the um the conference is from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Every day. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That's like crazy. But we going to make it do what it do. Yes. Yes. Wow. Is right. It is 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I'm already going on no hours of sleep. How about that? But such is life as an entrepreneur. Hmm. Let's get it, Facebook. Okay, so we're connecting. And it says go live. And we're going to be live in five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for following me. Thanks. Um, there is, okay, so Facebook Live, Periscope. Good evening, everyone. I look retarded with no makeup on my face. Okay. I am Precious Brown, your power coach and the divorceologist. I am the CEO and founder of Powering You, where I help women shift their mindset from pain to power so they're able to live healthy lives emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So, I am here today. We made it to day 10. Maximize your life. Woo-woo! I'm so excited. 
Hi, hi, Teresa here. Let me see if I can turn this differently. Then you can't see me, so I'll just hold it. Okay, there we go. So um, we made it to day 10, and I'm super excited about that because, you know, I was doing the challenge. I'm not going to recap tonight because I'm, like, super tired, but I am going to give you this last tip, and it's a humdinger, and it kind of came to me while I was on the plane today. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Periscope, thanks so much for the hearts. Be sure to share with your friends and followers. Facebook, please give me comments. So, today when I was on the plane, uh, y'all know I overcame my fear a couple weeks ago, right? Hi, Crystal. Thanks for joining. A couple weeks ago when I went to um, Dallas to the Spotlight Conference. So, today I stepped up my game. I did something new. Sound familiar? Did something new, and I went and sat next to the window, okay? So, as I'm sitting next to the window, thanks for sharing on Twitter. Hi, Mickey. Thanks for joining. Be sure to share with your friends and followers. So, as I was sitting next to the window, you know, well, I don't know who's all been on the plane, but as you go up into, you, you um, ascend, as you ascend into the clouds, it's like the earth leaves and then you're in this mass cloud, okay? So uh, I'm going to share at another time what all took place in that, but the root of it was to maximize your life, the one thing that you must do is get in tune with your spirit man or woman, whatever you want to call it. You have to get in tune with your spirit. We are spirit beings. And it is the one thing that is nurtured the least. We take care of our skin. We take care of our bodies. We take care of our hair. We take care of our nails. We take care of everything on us. Our hearts. Everything. Get in tune with your spirit. Hi, Deidre. Thanks for joining we take care of all this, these other things when it pertains to us as a person. But the one thing that we lack um, taking care of is our spirit. So to maximize your life, if you truly want to maximize your life. Hello. Hallelujah. You want me to do it spirit first. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you really want to maximize your life and, you know, everything that I've given you over the past 10 days has been good information. And if you apply it to your life, it will make a change. But if you want to see a drastic change in your life, thanks for sharing with your followers, um, Mickey. You want to see a drastic change in your life, get in tune with your spirit. Feed your spirit like you feed your body. Because what that does is strengthen you to, yes, I am tired. When you um, strengthen your spirit, it strengthens your body in itself. Feed your mind, body, and soul. Absolutely. Because... We have a lot of issues because we're not in tune with our spirit. Hi, Candy. Thanks for joining. So once we get in tune with our spirit man, it will allow us to see things differently. And that's part of what took place on that plane today. It um, allowed me to see God for the magnitude of amazement that he is. I mean, something like, so, I don't even know how to describe it. That's why I really don't want to talk about it yet. But it was so serene just to see his creation that close and so full. It was like the clouds were breathing. It, it, it was, wow. It was a lot. Hey, Dr. Ab, thanks for joining. And in that, being in that space, 
Now, mind you, two weeks ago, I was terrified to fly. So now I'm to the point to where I'm sitting next to a window watching God's creation, fully learning to understand what it means in Genesis when it says that he hovered over the deep. There was nothing. And above the clouds, it looked like it's a whole nother world. And just to know that how some people don't believe in him, don't believe that he exists. And seeing the creation so close, it shifted my spirit a lot. I won't lie about that. But in, in that, hi Jacinda, thanks for joining. In that, I saw um, the need for spirit connection. So I'm not sure uh, the names that I see, but I don't know who else watching on the back end from the web that I don't see, you know, on Facebook that I don't see. Whoever you go to in the spirit realm, I need you to start start to feed your spirit man. It's very important. And again, if you really want to see your life maximized to its fullest potential, start feeding your spirit man. Get in tune with your spirit. Because the spirit realm is where all the change happens. And then we can come back to the other nine things that are in the flesh. But when you take the time to manage and maintain what keeps you alive, which is your spirit, because if the spirit is gone, you're dead. So if you feed it like you feed your body, you will see greater maximizing in your life than ever before. Hi, Falanti. Thanks for joining. So I want to get on and share that. And although I'm tired, I'm like super, super, super serious. Hi, John. Thanks for joining. So I wanted to share that. And again, um, this was a 10-day challenge, and I made it to day 10, so I don't know if I'll be doing Facebook Live, but Periscope, I'm 100% sure you're going to get the full story because it was amazing. It, it was just, I don't even know how to explain it. It was just, it was in awe. I was in awe today just to be able to understand God on a different level and to be able to see him moving and when I say him moving I mean him moving yeah so that's my tip for today to maximize your life a hundred percent Get in tune with your spirit. And I know I'm not all hyped as usual, but y'all have to um, understand I am going, I'm on two hours of sleep. I have traveled all day and been running since I got to Oklahoma. <laughs> so forgive me if I'm not chipper, but the topic tonight is very serious and I need for you to understand how serious it is for you to yes thank you I, I'm gonna get some rest because I got two long days ahead of me but it's very important that you tend to your spirit man because that's the key to your change yeah it is 
I know that after that ride and watching out of the window and what I saw and felt, I will never be the same. Nope, not ever. So, you guys have a good evening. What are some things we can do to tend to our spirit man? You can pray. You can surrender your will so that it aligns so that it aligns with God's will. You can yes it is definitely amazing, Renee. You can um spend time in the word of God. I don't know your religion. Mine is Christianity. Um but whatever you know, whatever you believe in, yours too. Okay. So pray. Prayer, um, sitting in silence so that you can hear God speak back, reading the word of God, fellowshipping with other saints. Um, all of those are ways you can tend to your spirit man. But the way that your spirit gets stronger, and when I say feed it, feed it is the word. The word is the food for the spirit. You're welcome. So just really think about that. I'm not saying that you have to run out and, well, you need to confess your life to Christ. I ain't even going to say that. <laughs> you do need to get saved because the rapture comes. I'm going. I don't know about nobody else. But um, I'm not saying that you have to be holier than thou because nobody is. But what I am saying is make a conscious effort to spend some time with God. Make a conscious effort to build your spirit man up. Because right now we're in spiritual warfare. And if you don't understand it and you don't know how to wear the armor that has been provided, you will be defeated. So sorry to get so heavy. And, but I need your job to get that. And it wasn't a, I need prayer for my marriage. Absolutely. I sure will. What is you and your husband's real names? Amen. The prayers of the righteous available. Say that. Amen. Falon and what is in Kelly? I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus. Actually, I pray for all marriages because although I'm not married anymore, I understand um, the, the commitment and I understand the struggle and I understand the, um, the challenging times, especially... in the spirit realm, if that makes sense to anybody. I understand how the enemy can attack your marriage because the last thing he wants you to do, he don't want to lose one, let alone two. And when you two are together on one accord, you can put 10,000 of him to flight. So that's my message for tonight. And I will see you guys again on Monday. I am in conference. Hi, Catherine Sams. We're finishing up, so you may want to just um, watch the replay. I am in conference the next two days, and then I'll be traveling on Sunday, so I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay? Thanks so much for joining. I'm about to get some sleep. I have to go meet Shalanda downstairs, and then I'm coming back up, and I'll go to sleep. Okay? So talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. This is Precious Brown, your power coach and the divorceologist. I am the CEO and founder of Power in You, where I help women shift their mindset from pain to power so they're able to live healthy lives emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Love you too, honey. And that is my scope for tonight. That is my Facebook feed for tonight. And I will talk to you guys on Monday. Thank you so much. Have a good night.